Summer Breeze bridge, this is what we're going to talk about today. We're just going to do the bridge, that's all. I'm going to show you how I play it personally, um, and then if you want to stick around, you know, because it, it's only four lines, six chords. Once I'm done with that, if you're like, that's good, that's all I need to know, and you can get out of here. For those who want to stick around, I'll tell you why I arrived at these chords, because there are differing ideas about which chords we should use. I like to use these two fingers, second and third finger when I play my E minor chord. And then I just move this finger down one string to the D string. And do that A minor seven. And we go back and forth, E minor to A minor seven. This is just like the intro. If you want to see the full lesson on this, I'm going to put uh, right up there in the corner, I'm going to put a tag so you can go to it. You can access it after we get done here too. Okay, I'll give you a right hand in just a moment. And then the next chord is going to be, uh, we call it a C with a D bass. Looks like that. Next chord is this one. It's a D with an E bass. I play it like that. I just play it with the bar. And then I do another chord. This one right here, I don't know the name of it. I'll put the name of it on the screen if I can figure it out. And then this one right here also. So I just like to do this chord right here, just a bar all the way across, second fret, B bass. It's like a B minor seven with something in it. This is like a 13 or something. So we have this one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting the eighth notes. If I count the beats, it's like one and two and Sweet days of summer, Jasmine's in bloom. July is dressed up and playing her tune. And I come home, a hard day's work. And you're waiting there, not a care. Just goes right into the verse. And let's talk about this drum. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Boy, that's a tricky one. That's how I do it. There are some other ideas there. Um, not come home from a hard day's work. And you're waiting there, not a care in the world. That's not bad. A minor seven to B minor seven to A minor seven. B minor 7 to this oh, bar and then you're off on the verse. That's a good way to do it, except the bass plays a C note there. So I thought if I take the A minor 7 and I just 
let go, well, I make the D the lowest note, what's left of the A minor 7 is a C chord. The same thing with a B minor 7. If I have an E bass, I could play that low E string, right? And that sounds pretty good. Or I could use, you know, the D there and then come up two frets and do the same thing like a bar, like I did down here for the C with the D bass, D with an E bass, and it works pretty good, and that's what I did in the recording. And then this, I really like just this bar across, and then have that finger, and put that in there. I think I heard in the horns, I think I heard that note, you know, a little bit kind of in and out. Sounds really good. Got to have that B in the bass though right there. Whether you do that chord or that one or that one or that one. But you got to have the B in the bass going to an E. You may know that I have a Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book. So I have this lead sheet in my book. It's there. I come out with a, uh, a new version every month. All my subscribers get it. All my patrons get it. All my PayPal supporters get it. Anyone that's on my email list gets it. All right, thank you for coming. We'll talk to you later, okay?